Hi everyone, to the bone, this is Darcy, and today I'm going to talk about my August favorites. Everything from DIY, skincare, and also hair. So if you want to hear more about it, keep on watching. The month of August and July, and I must say most of the summer, my skin has been crazy. And I'm going to talk about more about everything that was going on with my skin this summer on my products that did not work for me video, which will be my next video. I have a whole bin and I have some of the culprits that cause my skin to go insane this summer. My skin was so bad, guys, because I do try a lot of things and not everything works out for me. I usually don't talk about the things that don't work out for me because I like my channel to be positive and I like to talk about products that do work so you guys can, you know, get my experience because my skin is also very finicky. So sometimes if a product doesn't work for me, does not mean it's a bad product. A lot of times means it just doesn't agree with my skin. So that's why I always debated doing a video about products that don't work for me. But this month I will because some of them really ruin my skin, which goes to show that it's always important to do a patch test because if you don't, sometimes you feel like, oh, my skin's gonna get a rash, but my skin got not just a rash, but it got burned to the point that I could not put anything on my skin and it was a mess. On this video, I'm gonna talk about the products that did work for me, which are not a lot because my skin was so sensitive, I could not put a lot of stuff on my face. I'm gonna start with DIY because this DIY help my skin to rehab. It literally brought my skin back to life and now I can put makeup, I can put moisturizer, I can do anything to my skin. This works, I would say 100% because my skin has never been this damaged and this fixed it. Is my DIY oatmeal face mask. Basically, it's really, really simple. And oatmeal has a lot of healing properties. And this mask is so gentle, you can use it every day, multiple times a day even. And it won't damage your skin. Like your skin can be literally like so sensitive that even water hurts and it won't hurt. It will actually, every time I use it, I felt like my skin got better and better. And I was using multiple times a day because at some point I was like, I really want my skin to recover. And I was using multiple times a day and actually helped. But you don't have to use multiple times a day depending on the damage that your skin's having, but it does work, guys. And I have a whole video dedicated about it. I'll put it on the link below. And if you look at the comments on that video, you will see that has worked for other people as well. And every single time I tell my friends about it or family, it works every single time. So I would say this is literally a foolproof recover for your skin. If you have a bad reaction to makeup, any allergic reaction to a face mask, any or peeling or skincare. I also love this, this DIY because it won't clash with any other thing. Like if you go to the doctor and the doctor gives you a prescription or something, it won't uh, clash with anything because it's so gentle to the skin that all it's gonna do is help your skin recover. But depending on the damage of your skin, it may take a little bit. It may take a few times use, it may take a month use, depends on the damage. But what I can tell you is that from the first use, you will feel relief. And it's so simple to use. You just buy whole oatmeal, you know, the whole oats, and you can blend on the blender until it becomes a powder. Just add water, make the mask, put on your face, and then leave it for 10 minutes, wash it off, and then you can do it daily or multiple times until your skin recovers. If you don't wanna do uh, the blending, if you just wanna buy at the store the oats already blended, you can also do that. It's a little more expensive because usually when they blend the oats, they call colloidal oatmeal, and this is what this is. This is from Aveeno. Basically what this is, is the same thing, is the oatmeal blended into a fine powder. You can do that at home and you can just buy the regular breakfast oats, you know, the whole grain and blend it. It will be a little more coarse than this one, but it will still make it an amazing mask. So you don't have to buy this one. But if you're like in a pinch and you don't want to do the blending, you just want to buy something, put it on your face and that's it. This is a good alternative. It's a little more expensive than buying the whole oats because you can buy a whole like giant like tub of whole, whole oats for a lot cheaper than you can buy this. But this is also not super expensive. You can find any supermarket, any like bath aisle, when they have the bath, uh, like the bath products, and it's called colloidal oatmeal. So when it's blended, it's called colloidal oatmeal, and when it's not blended, it's just called whole oats. And I'll show you really quick. This one is already blended, so it becomes like, like a fine powder. You can also use this for like for the bathtub. You can put on a bathtub if you have like eczema on your body or any allergic reaction to your body. You can take 
warm baths with this in the water and also helps to soothe. But the best way to recover is to make it into a paste and put it on your face or the area that you have eczema or any allergic reaction and it works, guys. It, it works 100%. So definitely try it and it's been my August favorite because it saved my skin. Another August favorite is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I don't know if you heard of this before, but this is actually my boyfriend's. I didn't buy it. This is actually pretty old, but it lasts for a long, long time. What this is, is a gentle cleanser. And it really is amazing to like wash your face, especially if you're having like skin allergies and you, you like soap hurts or anything else hurts. This is so gentle to the skin. And it's something again that I use in August because my skin was like a mess. And I love it. It doesn't contain soap. It's super gentle. This is like a lifesaver. This is amazing. Like if you have super sensitive skin, and you're always looking for a cleanser that helps to cleanse but doesn't stripe of the moisture and it keeps your skin smooth and soothing, this is an amazing cleanser, especially for acne prone or like I was having extreme allergic reaction, I washed my face with this and also really helped. And you can buy it at any CVS, supermarket, Amazon. It's super easy to find. But I get questions a lot about what is a good cleanser for sensitive skin and I would say this one, hands down, is affordable, lasts for a long time, like this one is years <laughs> and it still works. And I love the consistency of it because it's not, um, it doesn't really suit, like it's not super, it's not soapy at all. It's very much gel-like, if you guys can see. Love the consistency because it's so soothing. It doesn't soap up, so it doesn't dry your skin and it's amazing. So I highly suggest for any sensitive skin to try it out and you can, you know, I feel like it beats a lot of super expensive cleansers that I've tried in the past, and I always go back to it, and it's amazing, so you should definitely check it out. And the next favorite for August is this 3D Hydrogel Face Mask from Dr. Babor. This was actually sent to me by Babor for review, and I loved, guys. This is amazing. It comes with four um, Hydrogel Face Masks, and basically, I use it all. And I was telling you guys that this month, my face was a wreck, like even moisturizer, even sometimes water would hurt. And my face would feel like warm, and this was a lifesaver. And one of the things I love about this mask is that it's a gel, it's a hydrogel mask, so it's very soothing, and it actually didn't hurt my skin, quite the opposite. I felt like it felt really smooth, and it's one of the few things that I could actually use in the month of August that didn't, I mean, didn't damage my skin whatsoever. Quite the opposite, felt very cooling, and I definitely saw like plumpiness and cal it actually helped calm my skin. Also was so happy that I was able to use this during the month of August because I couldn't use anything else. And I also like that it doesn't have too much serum so it doesn't drip all over the place. This was amazing. I actually was surprised because it feels almost like it doesn't have any much serum, but when you take the mask off, it does feel like it plumps your skin. So it has this 3D, this uh, 3D technology that really, really penetrates uh, deep on your skin layer. It has hyaluronic acid and peptides, anti-aging, cooling the face, plumping, and I love this. So this was one of the few things I could use in the month of August, so it's definitely good for sensitive skin. As you guys can see from the application, it's super like, the gel texture is really nice, and it's cooling, and it applies really nice, and it stays on your face. It does make a difference when you pull it out. Like if your skin like gets plumped and super nice and moisturized without being tacky and that's I love it's actually really good for before makeup as well really really enjoy using it the next product is actually a cleanser as well and it's super gentle and it's amazing to remove makeup it's from pharmacy is the green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm with echinacea and green envy what this is, is a face balm that has like amazing natural ingredients and it helps to remove all your makeup. Literally melts away, even like, it, it melts away even waterproof mascara. Um, I used it actually at the end of July when I was able to use more makeup and it helped to remove like very, very deep makeup. And then during August, I used more as a hydrating gentle cleanser together with my Cetaphil because I was not using makeup. You can actually, you can actually use this even if you don't use makeup as a double cleansing type of gel or if you wanna do the oil cleansing method that I have on my channel. This actually works because it is oily, but as soon as you put the water, it kinda like, turns into this nice milky texture and it just washes away with makeup and it deep cleanses your skin and it has amazing ingredients that are actually nourishing for your skin. So it doesn't hurt, even if your skin is sensitive, you can still use it and it doesn't sting my eyes. 
at all. The only thing you have to be careful when you do the makeup on your eyes is that make sure they're completely shut because if you have your eyes slightly open and then you add water, you feel a little milky on your eyes when you open your eyes because the gel, uh, the oil turns into milk. So just be careful when you're washing, uh, when you're doing to remove makeup from your eyes and you're rubbing, just make sure your eyes are closed when you splash water because otherwise you get like some inside your eyes. It won't sting, but it will give you like a blurry vision for a little bit. So that was something definitely you should check. So good guys, if you have trouble with makeup, like removing makeup or you have sensitive skin, or you just wanna do a deep cleanse on your skin without stripping off its oils, or if you have dry skin, unbelievable. And it doesn't break me out because I, I don't know if you guys know, but even though my skin has been drier, I suffer from acne as well. So this did not break me out. And I love the package. The package is genius because it comes with the little scooper here. You guys can see, but it has like a place for the scooper. You can see here. And I think this is genius because that way you can scoop the product out, but then you don't lose the scooper. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get a product that comes with a little scooper, this is the first thing that I lose. The fact that you can place inside the package and it's always there so you don't lose it is just a huge, huge plus for me. A lot of great natural ingredients, so it's actually good for your skin and nourishing for your skin as well as removes makeup. So it's a winner. So definitely, definitely check this out. The next favorite, it's called Invisibobble. This was sent to me by Invisibobble, but I've been using this for actually over a year. What it is, is a hairband, as you guys can see here. But definitely it's been my super favorite in August. As you guys have noticed, a lot of my latest videos, I have my hair up because the summer was insane in LA. It was so freaking hot. So this was definitely an August and summer favorite because it kept my hair up and did not give me a headache, and that, and also doesn't give you that hair, you know when you use a hair tie and it gives you like those hair lines? This doesn't do that. Every single time you saw my hair up on my channel, I'm using this, because it's the only thing that actually keeps my hair up. If I use any other hair ties, I will put my hair up, and then five minutes later, I'm already having like loose hairs, and then I got a headache, and this, I don't know, is a genius, because it doesn't like get loose on its own. You have to literally pull it out. I don't know. I don't know how they made it. I don't know how they created this technology. It seems so simple, but it, it is amazing. And I love that when you put it up, the transparent one, you can hardly see in your hair. This one looks really pretty as well. I'll show you guys now. It's called Bronze Me Pretty, and I think it looks really cute on my hair. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.